What I mean by a turning point is that if you've got some polynomial curve and it's smooth and continuous like this, a turning point is where you either go from increasing to decreasing or you go from decreasing to increasing. So how many turning points are on this blue curve? Yeah, there would be six because I'm going from increasing to decreasing, decreasing to increasing, increasing to decreasing, decreasing to increasing, increasing to decreasing, and then decreasing to increasing again. So I'm counting a total of six turning points. Since the polynomial is smooth and continuous, uh, that means every turning point is either like a local maximum or a local minimum. If you remember that discussion. And so that makes them easy to, easy to count. But there's three facts I want you to know about the number of turning points. Number one is for a degree n polynomial. it can have at most n minus 1 turning points. So if I have a degree 5 polynomial, it can have at most four turning points. If I have a degree 2022 polynomial, how many turning points could it have? 2021. Can't have more than that. Okay. Uh, for a polynomial with even degree, it must have an odd number of turning points. And then you can probably guess this last one for a polynomial with odd degree, it must have an even number of turning points. Okay, so if I have a polynomial of degree 17, am I allowed to have 12 turning points? Yes. So a polynomial of degree 17 has an odd degree, so it has to have an even number of turning points less than or equal to 16. Right? So 12 turning points would be totally acceptable. Um, what if I have a polynomial of degree 6? Am I allowed to have 4 turning points? No, because if it has an even degree, then you have to have an odd number of turning points. What if I have a polynomial of degree 9? Am I allowed to have 10 turning points? No. Even though 9 is odd and 10 is even, you can't have more turning points than 8, right? Because of my first rule that is now off screen, but for a degree 9 polynomial, it can have at most 8 turning points. So those are my rules about turning points. Um, really, these rules are good for just like uh, checking your work on stuff. So like, um, if I tell you that f of x ha is a polynomial with degree Seven. 
um, one question I might give you on an exam is like which of these are possible graphs of my polynomial and I'll give you maybe some curves that look like this and you would have to say is it possible that this function looks like that no why Yep, this has one, two, three turning points. But I have an odd degree, so I need an even number of turning points. So not that one. Is this one possible? Yes. Yep, that looks like it could work. What about that one? So this is a trick question. Um, you remember our little end behavior table? On the left side and on the right side, you always have to be going up or down. Now, your end behavior of a polynomial is either up or down. You can't have a flat end behavior. So if you happen to see a function that appears to be flattening out as it goes to one side or the other, then that is not a polynomial. Because end behavior flat is not an option if you are a polynomial. There's some other functions in the world that have flat end behaviors. Like this function clearly flattens out as I go off to the left. But if you are actually looking at a polynomial, then no, like polynomials either go up or they go down. <laughs> they don't have that option. Okay. Um, looking only at the graph and not what I typed in, is it? Well, never mind. That's that's too obvious. Maybe. How can I make this more interesting? There. Oh, oh, what happens? There we go. If you were looking only at the graph and not at what I typed in, is this a polynomial? Could it be a polynomial? Is it even possible for this to be a polynomial? The end behavior is down on the left, up on the right. It's not flattening out anywhere. So that's a positive sign. But why can't this be a polynomial? What's wrong? There's a gap, yes. There's a discontinuity here, where right here it's going down, and then it pops up from the top, like, you know, if, you, if you've ever played Pac-Man, you know, if Pac-Man runs off the screen to the right, it pops up again on the left. You can't have that with a polynomial curve. So where it goes down towards negative infinity and then pops up over here and comes in from the top, that's not allowed for a polynomial. A polynomial curve has to be continuous, which means you have to be able to draw the whole thing without picking up your pencil. So that's clearly not a polynomial.